Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through a graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl shivered in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the Fish King appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as a wild wind rose about the beasts. Suddenly a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled, so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter. So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries.
ビレッジでレベルデザインを担当している津田ですこちらでは本作におけるレベルデザイン制作について説明いたしますまずはじめにレベルデザイナーとは体験を作り出す仕事です実現したいコンセプトやビジョンをもとに感情が動くようなゲーム体験が得られるように空間・演出を用意する仕事ですディレクターとのやり取りでコンセプトに沿って正しくゲームに反映されているかの確認を行いますファイオハザードの場合は怖いかどうかが大きな判断基準になるので怖さや緊張感が要求に達しているかの確認も行います演出やゲームデザインを決めていく際には非日常的なシチュエーションを没入感を持って体験してもらうために丁寧な入れ込みの演出や説得力のある空間設計を行うことを意識しています。ビレッジで苦労した点としては、ホラーという限られた枠組みの中で種類の違う体験を用意する必要があるところです。ビレッジに限らず、バイオハザードシリーズのレベルデザイン制作においては、怖いものにアンテナを張っていて、怖がらせることに対して引き出しが多い人が向いていると思います。敵で驚かしたりパズルでなるほどと思わせたり様々な思考や感情を生み出すことが要求されますビレッジでユーザーに体験見てほしいシチュエーションとしてはいろいろな表情を見せる作り込まれた村を隅々まで体験してほしいです恐怖を感じつつも住むといろいろな体験や発見があるはずです
just, I don't understand why you are so... What the hell? Mia, get down! Sorry, Ethan. Take him away. I said get your ass off her! Ethan, no. Because he is in my castle, and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him, I won't let you down. No! No! To hell with the ceremony! That man will pay for what he's done. Furthermore, I can assure you that you entrust the mortal to task. My daughter's only lived the finest cups of his long blood. He's away! You mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> Get ready. No, wait! <sighs> Man blood. <laughs> Man blood. <laughs> 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 